Talk to me about what you're seeing the role of microbiome in cancer and is that something that you, is at the higher checkpoint of you looking at things when we're coming and looking at ways to help support this person through a diagnosis? Yeah, so I generally think around uh, about 12 kind of targets that I'm looking at when a patient comes for support in that chemo preventative way. So this is me trying to make a difference to the growth and progression of their cancer as a side of just trying to improve their overall health and well-being. And so we think about things like immunogenicity and immune suppression and environmental carcinogens and what infections they've been exposed to and perhaps what their microbiome has been doing and a whole lot of, a lot of other factors. And what I love about microbiome and cancer, but particularly bladder and kidney cancer and colorectal cancer and even breast cancer. And it really, the, the research is just growing. So if you jump on and type in kidney cancer or bladder cancer in the microbiome, you'll find published research on the species that are most likely to be present in cases where there is an active tumor and species that are most likely to be present if the tumor is going to progress. 